Welcome to Freedom Watch Afghanistan. I'm Tech Sergeant Gene Taylor. General David McKiernan, the commander of international forces in Afghanistan, has reviewed and concurred with the coalition investigation into the allegations of civilian deaths from joint forces action that occurred on August 22nd. The investigation found that 30 to 35 Taliban militants were killed, and evidence suggests that a known Taliban commander was among them. In addition, five to seven civilians were killed, while two civilians were injured and treated by coalition forces. Five Taliban members were detained. General McKiernan says the death of even one civilian is one too many, and the coordination must be improved between international military forces, the government of the Islamic Republic of Afghanistan, and the United Nations Assistance Mission to prevent future incidents of civilian casualties. To that end, General McKiernan is proposing a joint approach for any future inquiries relating to civilian casualties. He adds that by working together, the Afghan government and international forces can bring about the defeat of insurgents who oppose the legitimate government of Afghanistan. The city of Kabul is home to over two and a half million people, many of whom live in poor conditions prone to disease and sickness. Staff Sergeant Michael McCool takes us to one village in Kabul where international security assistance forces are working with the Afghan military to bring humanitarian aid and health care to nearly 1,000 needy people. The excitement is beginning to stir in this village on the outskirts of Kabul. This morning, soldiers from the International Security Assistance Force are handing out hygiene items and medical kits, part of a civil military assistance mission providing care for nearly 1,000 people. In preparation for this day, Afghan soldiers work together with Combined Joint Task Force Phoenix. By meeting with elders of the community, they determined the most common medical conditions they would be dealing with. Typically, uh, it's just body aches. Uh, of course, you, you see the dust on everything, a lot of eye problems, uh, irritation, and then uh, every child will get dewormed, and that's, that seems to be a problem. It's just their overall basic health care. The town elders received 1,000 tickets to hand out to the neediest families in the community. Each ticket holder meets with a medical care provider. Well, they get into a triage tent, um, and then some people won't need medical assistance who think they do, so um, they'll be given med packs to go away with to self-treat. Um, but then people who do need to see the doctor will see the doctor, and they'll come up to the pharmacy and, uh, and get more sort of like a drop-in medical clinic. For these people living with the effects of war and poverty, this humanitarian outreach is a welcome, helping hand. But for international forces stationed here, this is a way of saying thank you to the people who help them maintain security in the area. Air Force Staff Sergeant Michael McCool, Kabul, Afghanistan. It's another day in Afghanistan, and soldiers from the 3rd Brigade Combat Team are on another patrol. Specialist Brandon Sandifer takes us outside the wire to show us how maintaining a strong local presence helps the Afghans each and every day. Soldiers from the 1st Battalion 6th Field Artillery Regiment currently patrol the rugged terrain of the Nuristan province. 1st Lieutenant Dash Balarta briefly talks about operation. Generally we go in with the, uh, the purpose of uh, trying to find out if everything is going all right, uh, how, how the quality of life is, and uh, by building those relationships with, uh, with the local populace, uh, we're hoping that uh, you know, those citizens and those villagers will come forward and uh, give us the information necessary to uh, achieve our mission goals uh, in the long term. Generally, we'll, we'll drop off uh, supplies if they need it. Uh, our medical make, make rounds. Uh, in fact, today we, uh, we helped out uh, a villager on the side of the road who was dehydrated. We were able to give him some first aid and get him on his way. Working with the locals is an essential mission for stability in the region. Reporting from Jalalabad, Afghanistan, I'm Army Specialist Brandon Sandifer. That's it for this edition of Freedom Watch Afghanistan. You can find stories from today and previous editions of our show on the web. Point your browser at pentagonchannel.mil. I'm Tech Sergeant Gene Taylor. From all of us stationed here at Bagram Airfield, thanks for watching and have a great day.